I am love, I am light. To manage my own energy field, I have every right. Compassion, peace, and strength, I am. I witness the dark with peace in my heart. And in my, in my energy, there is space only for love. <laughs> that is unconditional and gentle as the dove. I am unconditional love. I am unconditional love. I am unconditional love. So mote it be. Hey, Aries. Ow. I had to get it together for y'all. Okay. This is for sun, moon, and rising Aries. Okay. I'm Lulu. I love with House of Oshun. Darling, 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 darling. Welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome, darling. Um, <clears throat> Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, comments, and all of the love that um, you send out to me and everyone else all over this place, okay? The more love, the merrier, okay? Um, this will be the first half, the first half of July, so let's get it popping. Angels, what information do you have? This won't resonate with everybody. I why do I even have to say that? Oof. What information do you have for our Aryans? First half of July. Thank you. Mm hmm. Makes sense to me, Aries. Whatever. Okay. Let's pop. Now, then, some of y'all been so busy taking care of other people, you ain't making time for yourself. And see, this how the shit happened, though. You be out here ripping and running. Trying to help this person, trying to help that person, trying to handle some of your business and then handle some of somebody else's business and make sure this is good and blah, 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 blah. All right. So you don't know how to take time out for yourself. You don't know how to take time out for yourself. So I'm seeing here that they are helping you sit your ass down because you don't know how to do it. Okay, I'm seeing here that they are slowing you down because you have been moving quite, uh, you've been moving quite a lot. There's been a lot of things that have been transpiring with your family, um, possibly even trying to um, like develop, developer, develop, contract work, whatever, developer, whatever that means to you. Some of you, um, it feels like you are moving toward um, trying to be more reliable, but you have been over over what do you call it over just been overdoing it shit so you've been overdoing it and as a focus leader it is important for you to take your damn time take on some earth energy i got leo virgo pisces capricorn scorpio sagittarius i don't know your life it can be anybody but they want you to take charge of your situation and really um plan things out get into the minute details uh, when it comes to really structuring your life so that things won't be so overwhelming overbearing right I do see where there is some type of financial offer uh, being made. Um, this could easily be something to do with um, some. It, it, it's going to help the kids, right? Something that helps the children. So your des desired outcome will happen in the near future when when it comes to whatever that is that you are looking towards. I'm also seeing here when it uh, some of you may be uh, moving in together with someone who has children. So it's like um. A blended family you may be uh, getting married or um, putting your finances together to move forward here um, I'm also seeing that you're trying to balance things out financially it feels like overall Aries letting go of things that no longer serve you some of you are letting go of a situation that no longer serves you with someone that you really thought that you would be able to move forward with but they move too slow for you and it's heartbreaking that you have to separate from this person place or a thing could be a job because I do see where some of you may be um, sitting in front of um, like some type of evaluation your yearly evaluation is coming up and you ain't got time for it because there's been some co-workers who you don't get along with <clears throat> so things are moving forward rather quickly there's a lot of energy that's going to be moving real fast after you sit your ass down you got to sit down and reevaluate or it's going to be even more chaos <sighs> getting on my nerve okay so what I'm seeing here is there may be some back talk in the family here about um, your money. It's your money, though. Like, 
Why y'all worrying about my money, right? People always worrying about shit ain't got nothing to do with them. But somebody worrying about your money, and they trying to see what decision you're going to make when it comes down to, that, like, there are people that really want your help, or maybe you want someone's help. But what I'm seeing here <clears throat> is that there may be someone younger than you um, that is very attractive, that you want to make an offer to, but you're unsure because you have so many obligations already. You don't know if you want to um, deal with this person. You may have made them an offer, and they're just looking at you like, yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> it's right here. You're very hopeful about this, though. You really want to move forward with this person. You want to deal with them. Then y'all the only damn people. I got all these other Aries cards. <clears throat> but y'all got to come and, and show up and, and tell me I'm in the building. I'm in this thing. Aries Nation. Team Aries. Lulu, you don't like Aries. <laughs> Keep on fucking with me in them comments. And yeah, I'm going to stop liking your ass. What up? I see you want uh, to come out of the cold on a situation that you may have been dealing with someone you don't want. Some of you are really trying to uh, step into your power, but you're confused on a number of things. You may be kind of conflicted with how to move forward. You don't, like, you may, some of you feel like you don't have any options. You're overthinking it, though. That's weird. So at any rate, there is a, um, you want a new emotional experience with um, someone that you may have left out in the cold. So um, it may even be someone that asked you for something and you didn't have it, but you didn't tell them you didn't have it. Or you couldn't accompany, uh, you couldn't provide them something that they wanted. Like they may have wanted to go on a date and you couldn't provide that to them at that time, but you didn't tell them why or like it's something like that. Not necessarily just left them out, left, left them out to dry, but it's someone that you really do think a lot about, you really fantasize about a lot here. But overall, I see some of you coming out of the financial constraints that you may have. And moving forward, uh, you will be granted what it is that you need. But first, your emotions have to heal. And that's another thing that um, you're going to be going over, going through when you take this time out. Because you have life changes that need to be made before you can even move into this new um, energy. Okay, I'm seeing here where... You need to ask yourself, and um, when it comes down to making a decision about people, places, and things, what takes me to my, what takes me closer to my divine purpose, and what brings me from it. You know what I mean? What's an asset? What's a liability? Okay, it's either artificial or it's beneficial. We like beneficial, okay? Cause fake shit. You know, so we live in a world full of lollipops, so it's hard to stay sucker free. I'm saying here that there's going to be a decision that's really going to drive you mad. Um, this card is not always negative. A lot of people see this in the Seven of Swords and be like, oh, I have cards I hate to see. <laughs> Whatever. Everything has a positive and a negative. All I'm seeing here is that you have so many decisions to make that you really need to. You're going to come to a space where you're really going to have to buckle down and make a decision. And instead of making a decision, you're going to feel like your hands are tied on a certain situation. But angels are currently really trying to help you um, because it, it feels like this decision is going to come right when everything is just running smooth, everything is going good, and then you have to make this decision. Some of you have to make an emotional decision that's going to lead to some type of fairness. It may be um, something to do with your children. You need to know that your children are going to be okay. All right, especially for those of you who have older children and you're still trying to uh, make up for time that may have been lost in your kid's life. <clears throat> Just know that they are protected. The ones that have crossed over, the rainbow children as well as your children that are here, they are fine. You have to make a judgment or a decision based on moving forward, what it is that you can uh, possibly um, acquire or attain moving forward. Many of you are in uh, the commu um, some type of line of com like uh, communication. You may be into music. You may be writing. Um, it's just you're real good at that, right? So with you being good at that, it's safe for you to be powerful. You have a decision to make when it comes to um, how you're going to handle this situation. You know how to how to say what it is that you need to say. Yeah, it got something to do with money. So you know um, what how to say things to move forward. You know what to say, how to be powerful in a loving way. Some of y'all, I'm not talking to all Aries because I don't know all y'all. Some Aries, you know, they'll make you punch them in their mouth. <laughs> what else? Libras too. <laughs> That's what I heard. People be like, yeah, somebody going to punch in your mouth. Yeah, punch me. Draw back a nude. Yeah. Reach out and touch me if you want to. All this going to be gone. Snatching that shit off. 
All right. So I'm seeing here with uh, some of you may have recently lost your home or there was some huge breakup. This is for a separate number of areas possibly, or maybe you were evicted or kicked out. Um, I'm seeing here where you really need to um, hone your feminine energy. Your feminine, feminine and masculine energy need to um, balance out here because you need some clarity. Once you receive this clarity, you're going to face a few changes, uh, challenges. But with these challenges that you may be facing, you're going to um, easily achieve your goals. Like there's something to do with your home front, your instability. There's a lot of instability here when it comes to finances. Your finances may be up and down, up and down like strippers booties on the pole. Damn. <clears throat> I'm seeing here where, um, yeah, everything's going to balance out for you, Aries. You got this. You just need to know, like, some of you may have, um, be receiving some messages from maybe a Pisces. You're receiving some type of emotional message, right? From someone who you may have broken their heart or they broke your heart, but they're going to reach out to you when you are feeling lonely and desperate. It feels like, um, there may be some, uh, flying in. <laughs> Catching flights, not feelings. But someone's flying in or there's going to be fast forward movement. Lots of communication here because you're hoping for something to uh, transpire that's going to make it all right. Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra. Some things are going to be revealed here. You're going to move forward. Okay, let's keep it here. You're going to move forward. I see you moving forward and trying to uh, make things um, work with someone that you're very attracted to this person um even though they're not <clears throat> ideal you know how society has all these um how you know everyone's supposed to look baby love ain't got no look let me take some entertain up entertaining somebody long enough you'll find love with them and you'll be like oh it's okay to be all attracted to their flat ass <laughs> i'm living proof so anyways i'm saying here where there's going to be, um, you're going to move forward towards your, 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 your desires, towards this person. You and whoever this is, it could be a fire sign that you're moving in real fast to, or there's someone that you're going to see that you've been hoping to see for a while. You've been fantasizing about this person, or they've been fantasizing about you. And um, some of you are trying to get your finances together so that you can do this, and you're trying to turn things around. Uh, for those of you who may have been feeling like you don't have any admirers, you got a lot of them coming in. A lot of folks got it. It's some damn retrogrades and stuff. But I ain't got time to turn my phone off. So um, overall, what I'm seeing here is that um, you will come to a space of um, working through what it is that all this shit that you got going on that you may be dealing with. All this stuff <laughs> that you may be dealing with. Some of you are going to court. Um, you may have spent like two or three days in jail and you're going to court. And the money that you have to pay, you weren't ready. You weren't ready. We ain't never ready. They need to stop taking people damn money. Anyways. So I'm saying here where there will be a new approach and a new way of looking at things here. Um, there may be some deception coming from a Leo. A Leo Aquarius here. Whoever. If they're not Leo or Aquarius, they may have those traits. But I feel like there's some type of... Uh, someone may be getting over on you. Um, what is this? How are they doing this? They've been spying. If, okay, so this may be someone. This has to do with money. Hey, Reed, y'all all about y'all coin, though. I got to give it to you, honey. But I do see here where um, there may be someone who knows how to feed your imagination. They know how to say the right thing. They manipulative. Manipulative. Whatever. But they know what to say, how to say things here. And they had, um, they developed a plan to do what it is that they needed to, to try and get at you, to get you to take a risk and make an offer to them. So this may be someone that's trying to play you for money. Now this is for, this um, can be on any level. This isn't necessarily just relationships because there's like four or five scenarios. And there's a lot of people. So that's how I know it's not just relationships because it's a lot of people. Y'all got a lot of shit going on. I am seeing that um, when you... Um, take the road least traveled, you're going to begin to um, stand up in a watchtower and look out on your life and really see things for what they are. I'm seeing here where you may have to decide between two people, a water sign and an air sign, um, a water sign or an air sign or a Virgo. You're going to have to decide between these two people. One of these people has been divorced before or is a widow, widower. But you're going to decide between these two people. Some things will be revealed about them so that you'll know which way to go with them when it comes to this money. And it feels like you're going to make the offer 
to um, a Libra, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, someone who is um, a very stern in their convictions. They are, they stand in their truth, this person. Someone that you've been waiting for, you've been holding on to trying to and hoping that this person comes around. I'm seeing here where you um, are really in a space, you've been thinking about them a lot to the point where, you know, you are attracted to, this is your type. It's right here. So you want a new beginning with this person. You want to move forward. It feels like they may use their body to get you, right? But you are very attracted to this person, right? So there's um, not a lot of cups, but there's a lot of coins and passion. There's some air up in here, but whoever that is that's being sneaky and manipulative, they'll be out the window real soon because you're going to figure that shit out. Because when quest if, if a person leaves you with more questions than answers or more Problems and solutions, yeah, it's time to go. But this is a lesson that you have to learn. I'm seeing real fast communication coming through with this person. They are very, very, um, you're going to ask them some questions that they can't, uh, you're going to ask this person some questions that they can't answer. And that's when the shit going to hit the fan. Because then that's when you're really going to realize because you're going to go within. Even though you took that risk, you'll be able to pull yourself back in. Now with these, this other person, this, um, that, okay, so that's the water sign that may do this here. They talk a good game, but you're going to figure it out. Uh, they also may be um, knowing that you may be um, like depressed or feeling low. But overall, what I'm seeing here is that the person that you've been waiting for, you're going to have a new approach to them. And um, it feels like you're warming up to them even more. You want new beginnings with them. Uh, a lot of you want creative control of what it is that you have going on. Maybe dealing um, with a Capricorn as well. Everybody here, I got all these damn cards out. But what I'm seeing here is that um, you're going to show that you are very dependable, um, showing credibility, commitment here, letting go of what was and moving forward. And at the end of the day, there's a Capricorn coming in who's going to, um, right when, like, you're going to be beaming, there's going to be this huge new beginning for you. Um, feeling good, looking good, popping, popping, popping. <laughs> okay? And um, you're going to let go of what was and move forward. You don't have time to play games with anyone, so you're going to have most of your focus on the air sign. All right, Aries, that is your reading for the first half. I love y'all. <laughs>